Hello, good Sunday morning, everybody. How are you? This is Tina with Rhapsody and Ribbons. How is everybody doing? I know it's been a, about two weeks since I've done a video, but for most of you know, I'm dealing with um, a tear in my bicep. And <clears throat> so I'll tell you about it at the end of the video, what's going on. But I wanted to make this little cute snowman um, for the longest time. So, um, today we're going to do it. Okay. We're going to try to get through this video. How are you all my subscribers? I've missed you all so much. You know, I love you all. If you're new to my channel, it's the first time you're watching one of my videos, hit that subscribe button, like, and share. It'll help me out so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, <clears throat> some of you remember, <clears throat> I wanted to make a snowman. Now, what I wanted to do was mostly Dollar Tree items, but they didn't have those, um, what do you call those wreath forms? They're not grapevine, but they're like bamboo. Um, so, because they had the larger and the smaller one. And being that they didn't have them, <clears throat> I had to buy two grapevine wreaths, okay? So, one's a tad smaller than the other. Um, the other thing you're going to need is a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree, okay? So, just some white foam board. Um, I picked up this cute little hat. Um, and then I got this fabric at Joann's and I think I just bought a half a yard so I'm hoping oh sorry guys I'm sitting so I'm hoping that this will be enough which I believe it will be um I got some ribbon and just um a little pick and we're gonna go from there so I've already cut my foam board so what you're going to do let me put you down a little bit here so you can see okay so what you're going to do is you're going to um, get your foam board and then you're going to just lay your wreath on the foam board and then just basically you're going to trace this out okay so that's what you're going to do with both of them and then the same thing with the hat. So you're just going to lay it down, trace it, and then cut it out. I use a Sharpie knife. Um, scissors is a little bit hard. But, yeah. And so then you're going to need your glue gun as well. So what we're going to do... Okay, so let me see which one goes with which. This is really cute. I saw this on Pinterest. And I think... Jolie's Wreath Boutique. She might have made this as well. I think she did. And I just thought it was adorable. So you don't want your foam sticking out above your... That's why. I did have these laid out right. And I must not have... I think this goes here. Yeah. Okay. So I've cut the little hat out as well. Okay, so we're just going to put that over there. Um, so what we're going to do <coughs> is lay out our material. Okay. And yeah, I should have more than enough. Okay. So we're going to cover these foam discs. Okay. So I'm just going to put this over here. And you want to make sure... That you're going to have enough to cover. So let me get my chopping blade out here. Yeah. Get it up. How are you guys? Are y'all ready for Thanksgiving? What are you guys doing? Are you having family over? What are you doing? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut this. This isn't one of my sharpest. I'm just going to go out around it a little bit because you want enough 
ow, ow, ow. Yeah. So you just want enough. I don't think that's my sharpest blade. You know, I keep buying blades and then I can't find out where I'm putting them. Oh my God, I can't wait to be able to clean this room. Cut out here. Sorry, guys, I can't put much pressure on this arm. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the rest of it since I can't push down. I'm just going to go here. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect circle. This is really quick, easy, and it would make a really nice gift for someone. All right, come on. All right, I had enough. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, don't mind my circle, it's atrocious. So I'm gonna cut some of this off. And, okay, so we're just gonna lay this down, okay? And then we're just gonna put this. So I'm just gonna start gluing this down because this is going to be actually the front of your snowman. Now what am I stuck on here? Oh, good grief. Guys, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? So I'm just going all around the ends. Be careful because my glue gun, I know, gets super, super hot. Can you still see me, guys? Okay. I'm just going to keep going around. Just pull that in there. Okay. I have to glue some of this. I cut way too much material, but that's okay. Some really don't know what else I'm going to use this for. Okay. And just all you're going to do is glue around it. Ouch. this off and then the rest of it here just cut some of that off mm. okay so we're gonna let that dry a little bit and I'll go ahead and cut the next one So if you get my theme, this is going to go on the back like this, okay? So let me go ahead and cut my next piece. Okay, my table's a mess. It's got grapevine all over it. <laughs> I'm just going to do the scissors. 
And you want to go about two inches over so that it'll cover. going to do the same thing with this. So I'm going to glue it. And I'm just going to start over here. ribbon on this table. I have not been able to do much in here as far as cleaning or anything, so... under here put this down this is gonna be mine so I don't care all right all right this got all right so this one's gonna go in this one now for your hat so you're going to take the little hat that you cut out and you're just going to stick it in there, okay? So on the one side, I'm just going to go ahead and just stick some glue up there everywhere and glue it. glue that down so it has something to hold on to the back all right okay i'm gonna have to pull that down a little bit so now all you're going to do wow i should have cleaned this table off first so all you're going to do is come back here and you're just going to start gluing this down. Okay, we're going to glue it down to your wreath. Okay, so we're just going to glue it, hold it down. Now remember, you don't want any of this foam sticking out, okay? over your wreath. Hold this down for a minute. So what guys, what are you up to? What are y'all doing? I can't believe Thanksgiving is Thursday, which I have to go pull my turkey out and get it in the fridge. Okay, I just want to hold this for one minute.
Yeah, I really think the bamboo ones look nicer, and um, I couldn't find these wreath forms, so I got these at Hobby Lobby, and they were $5.99 each for these small ones, which is ridiculous. But, let's see, these need cleaned out. All right, let's just go ahead and... Just go ahead and put a good amount of glue. Oh, of course, I'm going to need a glue stick. Hold on, guys. Okay. Get that glue stick in there. Yeah, you can add this down a while. It takes the glue a little bit to set up to dry. I'm going to push it down. that didn't get down. I'll show you on the other one. See? You can... Oops. Can you see that little opening? I'll have to glue it down. It's on the end. Oh, you can't see it on there. it harder. Actually, what I should have done was zip tie these together first. I jumped the gun. Let's see. I think we're going to still be able to go. I'm sure I got some zippy ties over here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Alright. We're going to 
gonna just let that go for now. So now you're gonna lay it like this. But it would probably be easier if you put yours, if you zip tied the two together first, I'm assuming. Up under here. Oh. Okay. So I'm just going to pull it. It's not real tight. Make sure they're straight. Okay. I'm going to add about three. Are these zip ties? Yeah. Oops, come on. Yeah, sometimes you gotta fight with them to get through the grapevine. Where's all my tools at? Pull these up. Ouch. And we're not going to see these um, zip ties, so don't worry about it. And one more on this side. Okay, so let me cut those off. We're not going to see these because we're going to have a bow and some, some greenery there. So, yeah. So this is what you got so far. So now, we're going to take this little hat. So, put you over there a little bit. So you can either put the hat straight, you can put them on a little bit of an angle, okay? So, I'm going to get this in. Okay. Actually, I think this hat is crooked. Ugh. I'm just going to add some glue to hold this hat on. Okay. It's going to take a little bit to dry, but I'm going to come back here, get that under there better. Easy does it for a little bit till that dries. I'll add more glue off camera. Okay, so I just have a couple of these little spriggies. They're just berries. And I didn't know if I wanted to use that or if I wanted to use the this. I love this holly berry too. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay. So I just 
just want to stick some of these berries in here. I have to poke a couple of these off to fit. actually should have been done with this and that hat is on sideways so I'm gonna have to fix the hat Alrighty. I need to put a little bit there all right now to finish it off we're just gonna make a little bow for it okay and I have a little bit of the plaid, the buffalo check, which is so cute. So, you can make your tails. Ew, that has the wire sticking out. Okay, so how long do I want my tails? Okay, so I'm just going to pinch. See how big of a loop I want. Just making a simple little bow. So you want to twist it. You want to make sure your loops are as close as they're going to cover. Pinch it together, twist. You know, this is two sided, so if you don't want to twist your ribbon, you don't have to, but I think it stays better. Another one here. You could add two ribbons if you wanted to. I am just going to take a pipe cleaner and just make sure you get it all or it's going to come apart. So get that all good and centered. Twisty tie it in the back. Good. Okay. And then fluff out. Oh, see, I didn't <laughs> see, I didn't get it all in there. See what happens. that right out of there. <laughs> All right. 
we're going to have a funky looking bow now. I just want to get this done. You guys get the gist of it. Okay. So then you're just going to come on here. Okay. So I'm just going to poke this down through. Okay. And hope that I get this in here and you know I'm going to make another bow because I messed this one up when it came apart. I'm going to leave that on there because I'm going to re just redo this on my Bodabra. So let me pull you up. And then you're going to put a hook on the back of your hat, and that's what's going to hold your hat up too. So that's that cute little snowman. It shouldn't have taken me that long to do it, but I can't help it. Okay, so um, that's it for that video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's something simple. It's a nice gift to give somebody. Um, you can even buy <coughs> like this felty material at Dollar Tree. Okay. Um, so all Dollar Trees have the different ones, different colors and stuff. I found that red one. I think they had white. It didn't have any black or buffalo checked or anything like that so <clears throat> and that's it so you could totally make this out of dollar tree for like six bucks if you can find the wreath forms i don't know if they're just out of season now or they don't have any our dollar tree is late getting stuff so they're still putting out christmas stuff well we all know why um <clears throat> and so yeah, he's cute as a button. Okay, so thank you for taking the time out of your day and watching my video. For those of you who want to know what's going on with my shoulder, um, so I did see the surgeon um, this past Monday. Yeah, and so he read my MRI and everything. So what's going on is I have a tear in the biceps. Um, so instead of going in and repairing that, he gave me a shot of steroids and numbing medicine. I don't know what else he put in there. He said, let's try that first, maybe get this arm relaxed and maybe the tear will heal. Well, <clears throat> I don't agree with him, but I appreciate the fact that he's not knife happy. Um, because I've been dealing with this for way over three months. I went to physical therapy for one month, nothing, no relief. And this is starting to hurt again. So it's very sore again. Um, so I had about maybe two days relief from the shot. And I think that was the numbing medicine because as soon as he put the needle in there, he said, move your arm. I could. And it was amazing because I, you know, can't move it. So I don't go back again till February 21st um, to get another shot. And then you're only allowed to have these three times a year. So <clears throat> I don't know if I can go another three months in pain with this arm. So I'm going to give it another week and then I'm going to call him and say, hey, you know, the numbing medicines wore off. It's not, you know, ibuprofen isn't helping. Um, you know, so that's that. I mean, I was going to go home um, for Thanksgiving for my, to cook a meal for my kids and grandkids and there's no way I can do it with his shoulder. So. Um, I'm hoping maybe by Christmas I can take a little trip home and see my children. I miss them so much. Um, 
and that's where I'm at with this stupid arm. And now this one is starting to hurt. So I don't know if I'm overusing this one because of this one. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. If you're sick and you need a prayer, please tell me. I'll put it out on my channel for you, a loved one. I hope everybody's doing well. Please say a prayer for men and women serving in the United States military, our police officers, our nurses, our doctors, our frontline workers, anybody out there still dealing with covid um, I just heard that Michigan is <clears throat> the worst spot for COVID right now. Um, it's higher than it's ever been. So I don't know if that's true. If it's not true, that's just what was said. And I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family, your friends. Um, stay safe out there. Be careful and um, I don't know when we'll be doing a video again it probably won't be till after Thanksgiving I'm thinking so again have a very happy safe blessed Thanksgiving until the next video guys as I always say ciao